There is no country without its own challenges, and Nigeria is not an exception. This was the view of various speakers during a book presentation held over the weekend. They stressed that Nigerians have all it takes to foster social harmony and economic growth, but would require a work-in-progress approach in order to actualize sustainable development. Jacinta Obiku reports more on this. Nigeria, often referred to as the giant of Africa owing to its large population and economy, yet 40% of the total population, or almost 83 million people, live below the poverty line, according to the National Bureau of Statistics. How Nigeria should solve its own problems is the thrust of this gathering with reference to parental factors. Parents could be the problem, um, so it's always good to have a mentor. So one of the ways that you can practically, if your parents are not aligned, you can always find a mentor um, that can help you to groom those skills or show you how you can harness those skills and what you can do with them. As the third largest youth population in the world after India and China, both with high rate of unemployment, Nigeria youth are therefore challenged to think outside the box. There is no Nigerian youth that is resourceful, reliable, that is idle. None. This era is the era of if you don't work, you don't earn. And Nigerian youths are trying. The event also took another angle in addressing the issues around the boy child. Some of the things that are affecting the girl child as well, that are affecting the boy child, the same attention also needs to be paid to the boys because the boys are the ones who become the men of tomorrow. I think it's the gender conditioning that makes us produce a lot of irresponsible men, right? I think it's an urgent need. We need to begin to see ourselves as human first before gender, right? So what I think we need to begin to do is begin to raise boys as children too. A lot of people assume boys are men. Boys are not men, boys are children. So when we begin to balance that narrative, and we'll begin to raise them from parenting, from schooling, from domestication, right? Telling boys not to come to the kitchen is wrong. On the take-home message, the host stresses that Nigeria can only be built by its citizens. We put ourselves under undue pressure, right? Every nation of the world have their problem. They are all managing it. But in Nigeria and in Africa, we sort of escalate our problems more than the solution. We're good people why people that can rise above the gloomy of pains, corruption and all of that. As a nation, we need to begin to take it one step at a time. It's a work in progress. Part of the discussion was cultivation of reading and writing culture as it is imperative for nation building. Jacinta Obiuku, Plus TV Africa. Thank you, Jacinta Obiuku, for that report.